Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we are actually going to be hearing from a game developer telling us why the latest GTA 6 rumored map leak is fake. And this is very interesting because you've gotten my opinions on it. The internet has their opinions on it. But hearing from someone that actually specializes in game development, this is pretty cool. And this was actually posted by a user, Bobbert Hoses, on the GTA 6 subreddit. They made a post, why the Grand Theft Auto 6 map leak is fake from a game developer's point of view. And I thought the topic was interesting and I think it gives us a better idea on if the map itself is real, it's fake, or just makes us look at it with a different set of eyes. So the post says, hi, I am a game developer specializing in 3D mapping and I've also done map concepts for the last five or so years on my own spare time. I, for instance, did this a while back on my own illustration of the GTA 6 map, how I think it would look like. We'll take a look at it in a second. He says, I also lived in Miami, Florida for several years of my life and travel there frequently. Here are my reasons why I think the GTA 6 leak is fake. So let's take a look at his concept map really quickly. And this is actually a pretty good map. Um, you guys can see there, I don't know how it is size-wise compared to something like Grand Theft Auto V's map or GTA 4's map, but it definitely looks like it's a recreation of Vice City. Uh, you've got a lot of the major landmarks there that were featured in the original game, but also more of an expanded city and marshlands and swamplands. It's really cool. I, I like the balance of like the city and the beaches on the bottom right and the east-hand side and then more of like the swampy areas in the uh, bottom left and towards the top left as well. Obviously, it's just a concept, so don't get like too worked up about it. But that's a really good start right there, and it does look like something Rockstar might end up creating. So that's just an example of, you know, what this individual could do. Obviously, very talented, as you guys can see. But anyways, getting on to the reasons why this game developer says that it is fake. Here's what he has to say, and then we'll go over all of them. There's no highway interchanges inside the city. Every GTA map in the HD era contains a urban expressway network. This one doesn't. Real life Miami has one too. And that's a good point. I mean, think back to every Grand Theft Auto game. It's got a big highway system so that you can go from, you know, the bottom of the map to the top of the map pretty seamlessly. Even GTA 4, how it was basically split into like a lot of islands. You could still hop on the highway system and get to wherever you wanted to really quickly. The next thing he brings up is there are seemingly no low-rise buildings, even though Miami is primarily a suburbanized urban area. So I think this was a little bit hard to tell from the map, but that's interesting. Something I didn't even think about, a lack of low-rise buildings. And he is correct. Miami is a very suburbanized urban area. So that's interesting for number two. Number three, he says the airport does not have highway access, which every airport in the HD era has, which is just very unrealistic. So thinking of GTA 4, its airports have highway access. GTA 5, its main airport has highway access. And the airports are obviously a huge, significant part of the GTA games. So I think Rockstar would want to do them correct because not only does a lot happen there, but they're also used a lot in like cutscenes and missions, etc. Number four, he says airports in the US use buffer zones between the runways and other zones for noise and security reasons, which are simulated in every GTA game. And he goes on to say this airport looks more like one you would find in Africa or South America. So I, I've been to neither Africa or South America, so I can't really tell you what an airport would look like. But I've been to plenty U.S. airports, and they're right that they're, you're not going to find, like, houses right on the end of a runway. So he's saying that the airport runway here looked a little bit unrealistic. The next thing he goes on to say is that, number five, there are no port areas. Dodge Island is absent. No boats docked anywhere. No piers. And that would obviously be a huge part of South Florida, of Miami, of Vice City especially in an HD, potentially 4K remake version, whatever the next generation is going to be called. We're currently in the HD era, so maybe it'll be something like the 4K era. But regardless, yes, there were an extreme lack of ports and docks 
things that you would just suspect to be very frequent in Miami and in Vice City. Number six, he says there are no farm areas near Miami or Vice City. In the map, even though Southwest Florida is a huge agricultural center. And I agree, it's not going to be all city, and that's kind of what this map showcased a lot of. Like, a, just a giant section of city. I mean, we even saw that a lot in Grand Theft Auto V. It had that entire area uh, up north. Sandy Shores, Blaine County, Palito Bay. All of those areas provided farmlands and something that was way different from what we see in the uh, city of Los Santos. The number seven spot, he says there are almost no waterways in the city proper, even though real life Miami slash Fort Lauderdale area contains a huge amount of canals, waterways, and water beds for drainage. Okay, that's interesting, something I didn't know. I've only been to Miami and Fort Lauderdale very briefly, so not something I noticed all that much. But even when I have been to other places like Los Angeles in real life, even there I've noticed the huge amount of canals and waterways. So uh, it, it is shocking that that map didn't have anything like that. Number eight, he says parks are completely absent in the city. There are no green areas or so-called breakup areas to break the monotony in the urban area. Uh, Bicentennial Park in downtown Miami and park areas on South Beach doesn't exist. So that's interesting. You see that a lot in GTA 5, where even though you're in the middle of a city, you'll see like a skate park or you'll see like a playground. Just stuff like that to break up uh, all the concrete jungle. The number nine, it says the Miami River is absent. A very important part of Miami is the river going through Brickell in downtown Miami. So obviously, if Rockstar was doing their research, they would know all about the Miami River, how it's a big part of the city. They would very much want to include that in the game. So uh, yeah, I, I think that would be a part. And then number 10, he says, the aesthetic of Miami and its surrounding areas are way off. It may seem accurate to the regular person, but anyone that has ever been to Miami or lived there would see why this just feels wrong. Where the canals, where Dodge Island is, where I-95, where American Airline Arenas, or if this is set in the 1980s, where the racetrack is in downtown Miami, I can go on and on. And he goes on to say, overall, the flow of the city just seems like a bad game design and filled with unrealistic mistakes that I feel Rockstar games are too good to miss when they design their maps. Apart from the fact the city seems like a full-on rectangular grid as well, which Rockstar games doesn't use when they design maps. They break up the city with a detached grid to make it feel bigger. And overall, not only do I agree with a lot of those points, but I also feel like Rockstar has already done a lot of their research if it is going to be taking place in Miami, in Vice City. I mean, over the last year or so, we've been investigating that scouting document that was found, suggesting that Rockstar is asking local businesses for them to come in so that they can take a look at their shops and what things look like which does suggest they're doing a lot of research there already. So they would probably have not only all the major landmarks nailed down, but also a lot of the smaller details as well that, as this individual did bring up, they would probably not make mistakes on. Now the rest of his post talks about the island problems and then a conclusion, going on to say, although not as many problems here because an island with a small city is much easier to fake, the only big issue I see here is the fact that he put a continuous beach around the whole island with little to no variation or breakups. This is a very poor game design, very unrealistic, and a poor utilization of map space. There are no ports, docks, piers, or even marinas. How are people even supposed to get to this island? There's not even an airfield. In conclusion, this map is clearly a fake. The author drew it up in Photoshop and used real life imagery of Miami to fuse it together to a fictional map. So now that we've heard from someone that actually works in game development on this actual map, what do you guys think of it? Do you still think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Do you think it's somewhere in between? I'm definitely leaning more towards fake here, but obviously given what we saw with Red Dead Redemption 2 a couple of years ago, how that entire map was essentially leaked before the game came out, I'm still holding out like a 1% hope that maybe, just maybe, this is a very, very early adaptation of the GTA 6 map. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. The only way we're going to find out is time and if Rockstar ever gets around to announcing, talking about, and showcasing GTA 6. 
So until then, continue the discussion in the comments down below. What do you think of this map leak? Again, real, fake? Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.